Well, good morning from NASA's Johnson Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston. It's Tuesday, October 18th. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room as a team of flight controllers watches over systems aboard the orbiting complex. The uh, station in a current altitude of 238.9 statute miles. This uh, uh, spacecraft uh, uh, traveling around the Earth every 92 minutes, currently uh, tracking off the northeast coast of Japan, just about to make a swing across the Pacific Ocean. The team uh, today is once again led by veteran flight director Matt Abbott. He is handling the uh, oversight of this flight control team for the next uh, eight hours or so. He's joined by uh, veteran astronaut uh, Shannon Lucid, she is handling the uh, communications link between the flight control team and the Expedition 29 crew aboard the International Space Station. The team has been on console since about 7 o'clock this morning, Central Time. Uh, the typical nine-hour shift should end with a uh, handover to the oncoming team uh, about uh, 3, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Rack rotating up right. On board the International Space Station, the Expedition 29 crew in its uh, 131st day aboard the station, 133 days in space now from uh, left to right, Soyuz uh, TMA-02M Commander Sergei Volkov. He's serving as flight engineer number four of the Expedition 29 crew. Seated uh, in the middle is the commander of Expedition 29, U.S. astronaut Mike Fossum. And to the right is uh, Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency uh, crew member and astronaut flight engineer number five, Satoshi Furukawa. He is uh, working today on a um, swapping out science instruments in the microgravity sciences glove box. Uh, that uh, uh, instrument uh, that will be um, experiment that will be replacing a previous experiment is a uh, colloid suspensions experiment known as selectable optical diagnostics instrument that uh, that uh, glove box will be activated uh, after he uh, finishes his uh, work with that uh, science experiment in, in installation. Mike Fossum is spending most of his day swapping out another failed component as part of the electrical system of the station, a remote power control module. So he'll be uh, working with that uh, throughout uh, a good bit of his uh, work day today. And uh, Sergei uh, Volkov uh, uh, overseeing activities in the Russian segment of the station, including stowage of items in the 42 Progress uh, cargo vehicle that will be leaving the station this coming Saturday. The, so he's uh, overseeing the uh, installation of hardware and, and trash and items that are no longer needed aboard the station ahead of that uh, spacecraft's departure. He's also uh, overseeing uh, activities associated with a reboot maneuver of the station to uh, change the station's altitude a little bit. Uh, that's uh, planned to occur on Wednesday. So he's been working with his team, uh, ensuring they have all of the uh, systems ready to go to support that uh, slight two-mile uh, altitude uh, increase scheduled for um, uh, late Wednesday morning, U.S. Central Time. So the crew off in different directions working on science experiments, hardware uh, changeouts, and uh, preparations for a uh, cargo vehicle departure and a reboost of the station's altitude. So the Expedition 29 crew uh, busy once again aboard the complex uh, here on their 131st day aboard the International Space Station. And then uh, waiting for your confirmation of saving in step eight.